Join me, New York Times bestselling author Lynn Vincent, as I reinvestigate the Terry Schiavo case for Lawless, a new true crime podcast from World Radio. Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 18th. We're racing through the week and we're glad you've joined us for Top Story today. Go ahead and tap those like and subscribe buttons below, then head over to the full World Watch site to catch these stories. Like, where did the seventh inning stretch in baseball come from? We went all the way to Cincinnati to find out. And a massive sandstorm blows across a rock, blacking out a huge chunk of the country. Now, this is Top Story. United States is easing up on Cuba. On Monday, the Biden administration lifted several Trump era policies that cracked down on travel and money transfers. Under Trump, Cuban migrants could only send $1,000 every three months to family members back home. That cap is now lifted and they can send money to non-family members too. The Biden administration will also allow more commercial flights to the island and speed the visa application process for Cubans trying to come to the United States. It is a good opportunity that is being given to the people of Cuba right now. We have gone through many difficulties and we are going to move forward a little more now. Cuba's government is an authoritarian communist regime. It routinely abuses its citizens and shuts down dissent, afraid that new ideas and free speech could break its hold on the country. Just last week, Cuba's parliament passed a new penal code further limiting dissent, that is, disagreeing with the government. The proposed rule of law criminalizes the most serious and harmful acts for society and protects the stability of the nation and the tranquility tranquility of the citizens. Under the new law, anyone who incites against the government or insults an official can get five years in prison. It also carries 10 to 30 year sentences for giving information to people the government hasn't approved. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.